This MEF2C transcriptional network was generated using the final time point of a three time point differentiation time course. Let's overlay the two earlier data sets to visualize how the genes change in expression over time and how that might impact the prediction of the activity of the functions we added. Click the Add More button in the left panel, navigate to the Training folder, and select the other two differentiation analyses. You can reorder them in the left panel. Check this checkbox to display the expression values from the dataset regardless of whether they pass your analysis cutoffs. Small bar charts automatically appear next to each node displaying the expression values from each of the three datasets. Clicking on any bar chart will toggle it to a larger size. From these charts, you will notice that expression for some genes like MEF2C and MIL7 increased progressively relative to the starting stem cells during differentiation, whereas the collagen genes, call 1A1 and call 3A1, first start out down-regulated in the mesodermal cells relative to the embryonic cells, then begin to increase to positive fold changes as the cells further differentiate. How does the activity of those functions play out across the time course? You can switch the overlay to different analyses by clicking on the names of the analyses in the table at the top left of the panel, or use the arrows on the keyboard to swap rapidly to see the effect. Now we're showing the same network but with the mesodermal cell overlay, and interestingly, arrhythmia is predicted to be decreased, note its blue color, at that early time point but then increases later. The other functions, such as cardiogenesis, are already predicted to be increasing even at this early time point.